In this video, we'll go over a simple practice problem for unit conversions using the method. So I want to know how many inches are in 37.4 kilometers. So let's do step two of the method and say, what do we have and what do we want? So we have 37.4 kilometers. What we want is some number in inches. Step three, we have to write out some conversions, right? Things that are equal to each other. That'll get us from kilometers all the way to inches. So there's probably a couple ways you can do this, but if you look at your conversion sheet, I'll probably do, let's see, how about 1.6094 kilometers equals one mile. So that goes from kilometers to miles. And how about one mile equals 5,280 feet. Okay, so we've gone from kilometers to miles and then from miles to feet. And now we know we can go from feet to inches. So there's 12 inches in one foot. So with these three conversion factors, let's set up our table. So in step four, we'll start with what we have, 37.4 kilometers, and we're gonna multiply it by one a bunch of times. So let's figure out what order we should do this in. So we want these kilometers to end up as inches. So let's get these kilometers to cancel out. So let's use our first conversion factor, kilometers and miles, and put kilometers on the bottom. And that way, They'll cancel out and we'll be left with some number in miles. Now let's get those miles to cancel out. So again, we have miles on top up here. So to cancel out, we'll just put miles down here on the bottom, which means that we're left with feet up at the top. Now the last one we need to do is get from feet to inches. Again, we need feet to cancel out. So we'll put feet on the bottom here. Sorry, miles and miles will cancel. Then these feet and these feet will cancel, leaving us with inches. And now let's just plug in our equivalencies. So, okay, we know that one mile is equal to 1.6094 kilometers. So, again, this quantity is just one, so we're multiplying it by one. We're going to multiply it by one in a different way, and this time we'll just say, well, one mile, one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. And the last thing we'll do is we'll say, oh, but also one foot is equal to 12 inches. So you see that we've multiplied our starter, what we have, by one, three different times. Because all of these quantities are the same. Um, and now we're left with the unit that we want, inches. So now all we have to do is multiply it out. And all these units cancel out, we're left with inches. So what we end up having to put in is 37.4 times 1 times 5,280 times 12. That's all the stuff on the top. Divided by stuff on the bottom multiplied by each other. So that would be 1.6094 times 1 times 1. Now if we plug this into our calculator, we'll get our answer. I'll do that right now. Let's see, and I got 1.47 times 10 to the, let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep, times 10 to the 6. And let's not forget our units, which were inches. And so this is our answer. Yay! So you know that there's 1.47 times 10 to the 6 inches in 37.4 kilometers. And that was, again, using the method. Um, a good way to check this, just to make sure that you're doing it correctly, is just think about it. We're going from kilometers to inches. Kilometers are bigger than inches, so we should be left with a number that's bigger than what we started with. And that makes sense, because 1.47 times 10 to the 6 is bigger than 37.4.